What is up guys? I am back. I know I haven't been recording any videos for a month or two. I don't know, I just haven't been existing, so yes, but I'm back now. Um, before we get started with the video, uh, yeah, um, thank you for my two subscribers, Go Me. I'm on track to beating PewDiePie right now. I did yesterday try to record a video on Tame Deodon. But unfortunately, I'm a bit silly and I lost the recording for it somehow. So yeah, um, back on this same server, slightly boosted, but not massively. Um, yeah, I don't have any wyverns because when I left, I lost a lot of stuff. I I managed to keep my this thing stayed here, and all the times I had in here. But a lot of the stuff, like my wyverns, are all yeah, they're all gone except for actually. I didn't notice this guy before. Please be a lightning wyvern. Fire wyvern. Okay, still not bad. Because wyverns are... It's better to get wyvern eggs with wyverns, really. It just is. Because they're quicker than tranodons. You want to use a lightning wyvern, above all. Because, you know, lightning wyverns... Because lightning wyverns sh have the most range. If you have a lightning wyvern, it can't be hit by lightning because you know they cancel each other out so that's what you want to be using but for sake of the video I will be showing you how to do it with the Tranodon because it's a lot more difficult so yeah um, I'll be showing you how to catch wyvern eggs and how to raise them without wyvern milk that's the most important part that's why you're gonna need a dead on which I did try and do a tutorial on but I lost the recording for it it's not that difficult just need to bowler it and knock it out really. Right, I'll get back to you when I'm by the wyvern place. Right, I'm back. So pretty much on Ragnarok, which is where I am, there are two wyvern parts. There's that part, which is the bigger part, and there's that part, which is the smaller part. Um, we're going to be going to the smaller one because we only got a on. If you, the bigger one obviously has more eggs, but it has a lot more wyverns, and it's a lot more open space, so they'll be able to catch up with you a lot easier. So you're going to want to use a wyvern if you're going there, but obviously we are not using a wyvern for sake of this tutorial. Because um, with a wyvern it's a lot easier, you don't really use a tutorial for a wyvern, but you might for Trandon because... Right, pretty much for Trandon, you're going to need one that's got decent stamina, it's going to need to have reasonably decent health, maybe a good saddle, uh, in case it gets struck by a lightning wyvern. Um, but yeah, so about 1.5k, 2k stamina would be ideal really. Oh, I'm just curious now. 1.5k, 2k stamina would be ideal, but you know, get what you can I guess. Oh dear, what's that? Oh, it's just a mantis. Right, so let's get to it. Uh, you need to make sure your stamina is on full health. Ideally, um, your stamina is full even. I'm a bit tired, I just woke up. Ideally, you want to be wearing um, a ghillie, ghillie suit because they're better, but... I lost my ghillie suit and I can't be bothered to make a new one, so you know what, that's all I have to do. Right, now as you can see, there's I see a lightning wyvern that also sees me. So you got to make sure you keep distance. Okay, yeah, right. Right, I did barrel roll there and you're not really supposed to, but lightning wyverns are really the exception to most things. They have so much range that they will annihilate you. Yes, I know my Trandon has a lot of health, but yeah, it's a slightly boosted server, and I thought, you know, why not take advantage of it? So going through here is a good way to lose any wyverns that are on you. Really, this is not what I was going to show you, but it looks like it's done the trick. Yep, right, I'm going to head back, and I will get back to you when I'm back, I guess. Right, I'm back. But yeah, ideally you don't want to be barrel rolling because it takes up a lot of your stamina. Now I see a fire wyvern down there. I also see 
a nest down there. Just because there's a nest doesn't mean there will be an egg in it. It's not a guarantee. And if you do take an egg, any wyvern in the area, no matter how, like, in the area, will come after you, even if they haven't aggroed on you. Right, is there anything in here? Right, there's a lightning wyvern egg. I'm hoping for a good one. What level is this? Level 155. You know what? I'll take it. So, as soon as I take this egg, that fire wyvern and any other nearby will come after me. So, I want you to watch what I do, pretty much. Right. Just pretty much fly away. This isn't the ideal spot, but if you keep close to the ground, it will follow you, but it won't go up above, hopefully, because it will be trapped underneath. Yeah, see? So, I think we're clear. There you go, it's easy as that. And now I've got myself a decent level lightning wyvern as well. It's literally that easy. It's really not very difficult as well. Normally, I wouldn't go below level 160 for a wyvern egg. Because I want really good wyverns. But I do kind of need a decent wyvern egg. Because the other day, I... Oh, best, best be careful there. The other day I got a wyvern egg, but it was only a level 20, I think it was, so it wasn't very good. So I didn't really want it. Level 155 is a lot better, not the best, but it will do the trick. So that's what I'm going to do. And yeah, right, I will get back to you when we get to the hatching part. Right, I'm back. Um, before we get started on the whole wyvern thing, you haven't seen this place before. It is still under construction. Um, this is actually what is going to be my wyvern pen when it's complete. I'll give you a proper tour of it and how it works later. This is the one wyvern I still have. It's a decent one, actually. Right, so, straight to it. Here, I think 12 are the necessary amount, but I've got 13. We're going to see now whether or not I have enough. So what you do is drop your fertilised wyvern eggs. And off you go, really. That's all there is to it. It's not very difficult. Uh, it seems to be working. So, you have egg... If you can see, you've got egg in incubation and egg health. The, if the egg health gets to zero, the egg obviously dies. You want the egg incubation to get to zero before the egg health does. Now, you can, if you can't afford all these, you can always do it with just like six or eight of these. But then you're going to need a lot of torches, like probably above 10, um, which I did do at one point. Um, but there is a risk of that, with that, of your tame, when it's hatched, dying. It can, like, you'd be set on fire if it walks over the fire and die, depending on how much health it has. So, so it's really up to you what you want to do, but this seems to be doing the trick. So, yeah, when the egg incubation gets to zero, it will hatch, and as you can see by the timer, that will be in 11 minutes. So, yeah, I've got one of each. Got my wyvern there, it's pretty cool. Um, I'll get back to you close to the time when the eggs are about to hatch, then, I guess. Hello, I'm back again. So, as you can see, time has gone down a bit now, it's only been about 9 10 minutes. So, as it gradually goes down, it will get closer and closer to hatching. What some people do is they will get ready for hatch, get it down to like 1% or like something like that, and then they will pick up the egg so it won't hatch. So that way they can just hatch it instantly whenever they want it to, but I don't really want to do that. Now you can see it spoils in that amount of time. Obviously, if you put it in a fridge, that amount of time will increase, but, you know, I don't need to, because I'm hatching them right now. Um, yeah. About, in about a minute, they will be hatched. As you can see, they haven't really lost any percentage, so this is good. You don't need 13, I don't think. You only need 12. I just made one too many, so I thought, why not place it? And, so obviously, you got to have it hooked up to electricity and everything. But, yeah, it works. It seems to be going all right. It's got another... 30 odd seconds to go. Um, now, for the dead on, you want to be using this for passive healing, really. Oh wow, he's got, he's got a lot of levels. You want to put most of its levels into food, trust me. I'll put a couple into other things, but most of it has to go into food. Right. 
So, um, pretty much, I'll go over the day on thing in a minute because these eggs will be hatching any minute now. Now, so yeah, 30 seconds, right? Yeah, it's a nice place. This I'll show it off properly once I've finished it. Took a lot of time. Right, so here they come. Right, you need to claim them first. Ideally, imprint on them as soon as you can. Just because then you've imprinted on them. Um, come over here, little guy. Right, so now I've imprinted on three babies. I'm going to get them all to follow me. Right, what you want to do is you want to put their follow distance. Options. No. On the behavior. Um, follow distance. You want to put it to the lowest so that they follow you a lot quicker, if you know what I mean. Because that will be a thing. Oh, yeah, and you've got to disable wandering as well, or they will wander off. It'll stop in a minute. Right, same with this guy. Um, behavior, disable wandering. Now that I've sorted that out, I'm going to get them to follow me. I'm pretty sure that, yeah, they can jump over that, so that ain't going to be a problem. Come on. Right, you're coming. Got to get the other one to come. Right, why aren't you? Sometimes they will be difficult. Come on. What's your... Um, oh, God, I'm stuck. What's your behavior? Follow the distance on those. Yeah, come on. I have a video. Right. There we go. Yeah, they do go over that stuff. Right. I'll get back to you once I've got them sorted. Right. So, thing is with wyverns, they will not eat food. If you look at this guy's food, yeah? put food in his inventory, no matter how much I force feed him, it's not going to increase. So yeah, what they eat is wyvern milk, but that isn't a problem if you don't want to get wyvern milk, that's where these guys come in. Right, give me two seconds. Now raw prime meat is your best bet for feeding them, it feeds them the quickest, especially if you force feed them. Watch as I take my wyvern. Hopefully I don't hurt any of these guys when I walk over them. I feel evil. Um, watch as I go out of the render distance. And then I come back in. Remember how it had not full hunger? It will have full hunger. Right. Now if I turn around, head back. Watch this, it won't have, it will have full hunger. I don't know if it depletes all the food that would go with it, but it gives you full hunger. Oh, I can see my little floating wyverns. Right. Right, now, if we go back to the dead on, look, full, full hunger, and that's a lot of hunger. So, as you can see, right now, these guys are fine, they still got food, but as their food depletes, I think it depletes pretty quickly for babies normally, but it's boosted server. So, as the food depletes, their health will obviously also deplete, which is why you activate passive healing. And it will heal them. I don't know if it'll heal them right now because their health isn't really low. But it would normally. 
Yeah, it's just not doing anything right now. That's because they're not losing health. So what you want to do, you enable passive healing, maybe rotate two of them around if hunger's an issue, and you should be fine, pretty much. Now, there are three types of um, things a wyvern will want for care. Three, three ways for imprinting it. The first one is a cuddle. Now, a cuddle is pretty easy. You just press triangle, go up to and press triangle, that's it, it'll imprint it. The next one is a walk. Now, if it wants to go for a walk, what you do, you whistle it, and then you wander around with it a certain amount of distance, and it will be imprinted. And the third one is wyvern milk. Now, if it wants wyvern milk, what you need to do is cryopod it, yeah? Because a cryopod will act as a dice roll. It's not guaranteed that it won't want milk next time, but it's 66% chance out of the three possibilities, 66% chance that it won't want milk, it will want something else. And that's how you pretty much raise wyverns without using wyvern milk, which means you don't need to bother trying to trap wyverns constantly. Because that means you need to be on a lot and it can be really difficult sometimes. Especially if you're on a PvP official server, people will try and like stop you. Cause people don't like it if you have dragons or wyverns just because they're pretty good. Oh, so yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think, is there anything else to say? <sighs> no, I don't think there is. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, um, if you liked it, if it was helpful, like and subscribe, I've got two subscribers so I'm on a roll, go me, um, yeah, this is my first video in a while, I just want to say to the two people who watch my videos, yes I will start uploading more now, but I just had a bit of a break recently, so yeah, right, um, is there anything else, uh, no I think I covered most of it really. Yeah, just make sure you give them food when they grow up, because I don't think their hunger goes right back. So yeah, right, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video or something. I don't know, I still haven't come up with an outro or an intro, which I probably should have, because I've been away for so long, but it is what it is. So yeah, bye.